did I not tell you that the man was going to give us some meat? Okay, show of hands, how many knew that Zacchaeus meant pure? That right there, just the switch between a man whose name is pure to choose one of the most unpure jobs at that time, that's just, you could talk about that, like even that naming into how that life ends up. Amazing, amazing. And then the whole, you know, I think he gave us all trauma when he was talking about the whole taxing on taxing on taxing. It's like when you fly in the airlines and they're like, oh, that bag? Yeah, that's going to be another. Ooh, that's 75 pounds? Ooh, yeah. You have a credit card? Because we don't do debit at all. We don't, we don't do debit. So we, we know taxes. And again, just like last week, the relatability. When we read the Bible, when we really get into the meat, we see God has laid this out to where we can walk today looking at those examples and say, okay, okay, I can, I can see that. I, can, I, I know taxes. I know unnecessary taxes. I know overdraft fees that are not my fault, and, and now all of a sudden i got to pay $30 for an overdraft. That, right here, right there. Zacchaeus, got to go back to that. But mostly, what it really hit me was just him reminding that Jesus called his name, that Jesus knew him that despite what he did, despite how he was overcharging, despite all of that, Jesus knew his name and he wanted to spend time with him. He still wanted to change his life. And that, that's what we take into this this week. That's what we take, period, is that Jesus knows my name. He knows your name. And wherever you are, he is looking to do some amazing things with your life. So we just got to allow it. So Awesome, awesome job, John. Just fantastic. Difficult could be all the restless ways. There are souls to rescue, there are souls to save. Send the light, let it shine.